Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. As you can see, we've got the EcoFlow 110 watt folding lightweight solar panel. In this review, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a test to show you how much wattage we get from this solar panel. We're going to use an EcoFlow power station. We're also going to show you how easy this thing gets set up. It actually includes a bag that actually is a stand, which is really nice. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, so as you can see, we've got the 110 watt solar panel right here. Again, this is lightweight and it's a folding solar panel. Uh, let me give you some information and then we'll go ahead and crack this open so you can take a good look. So first of all, this sells for about $399. Now, they make 160 watt and we recently did uh, a testing on that as well. We'll put an image up on the screen so you can see what the video looks like. And we'll include the link in the description if you want to check that one out and see how the test did. I got to tell you, I was very impressed. It did very well. So $399 here, and for $50 more, you can get the 160 watt. Now, I am very impressed, by the way, with how the 160 performed. And in this video, I am going to be doing some testing. I'll also be setting this up so you can see how easy it is to set up. Um, as far as weight is concerned, the solar panel by itself is 8.8 .8 pounds. If you include the bag, it comes out to 13.2 pounds. So let me go ahead and uh, take it out of the box and we'll take a close look. Real quick snapshot. I mean, they pack really well, just so you'll know. Uh, EcoFlow is known for that with their power stations, but you know, they really protect this. And this box was actually in another box. So there it is, you know, a nice bag with, you know, just some nice material. Again, the bag is also used as a stand. We're going to be setting this up later um, when the sun comes out. And uh, we're going to show you how it looks. To be honest with you, the reason why we're doing this in the kitchen is because it is snowing right now. So I'll bring up some video so you can see it's actually snowing out. Yep. It's snowing. So let's take a close look. First off, you start off with just a nice strong stitching, a uh, nice handle, again, for comfort. Um, this definitely can take some light rain as you're walking around. And uh, if this is weather rated, I will put that up on the screen now. I do believe there is a weather rating, mostly on the panel itself. All right, so I'll bring it up on the screen now so you can see it. And let me go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit because, you know, I'm zoomed in a lot. Um, you've got kind of a seal on the zipper, which is really nice. So just kind of peel that open and... Uh, Let's lay this out, open it up all the way, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as the bag being a stand. So crack it open. This is the hard part right here, and it's got hooks up here and, and uh, hooks on the bottom, all right? So the reason why it has hooks is because this actually acts like a stand. So you'll see as I set it up outside. I'm going to take the panel out for a minute. This is the soft side. We'll close this for now. 
and uh, just take a peek at the panel here in the kitchen. So very simple, no DC, uh, no DC plugs, nothing like that. You simply have your MC4 connectors for your standard solar panel. So it's a very simple setup. If you have a power station or you have a battery setup, you know, this is standard MC4, okay? And the thing I'll show you is as you open this up, it's really nice, really, you know, made very well. Um, you do get some support information and a user manual. So we'll put that aside. And let me open this up so you can see. So in the middle, when you, when you set this up, you can actually use these any way you want. But if you use the bag as a stand, you're going to see here that you've got one, two, three, and four. That's because the bag actually gets centered and becomes the stand, which is nice. If you want to hang this, it's actually got on each corner one, two, and then obviously on this corner here as well, the same thing, one there and one there. And you can actually hang this, you know, or whatever you decide to do, which is nice. And these panels are high efficiency panels. So very simple when you're done, fold. Nice fabric, you know, as you can see here, this material. But you take this, you fold it again, pull the wires out, fold it again, and you are ready to store this in the bag, which is really nice. Closing this up is real easy. Just lay it inside the soft side, take the hard side, fold it, all right. Grab the zipper, fold it up, and you're all ready to go with your EcoFlow panel. Now let's go outside and do some testing. Let's go set this panel up, and uh, I'll do the best I can with the camera, guys. I don't have a camera crew, but um, so there's your little bag. Let's go ahead and zip this open. As I said, the, the bag is actually a stand. So you're going to put the soft part on the bottom like this. And then the hard part's going to be the lean against with these clips. See these clips right here. So um, I'll lay it down for now. And uh, just take the panel. Nice, durable panel. Made very well. It's amazing. Um, I did do a review on the 160 watt and I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that. Um, it did very well in our tests to be honest with you. So, um, all right, so, all right, so I open it up, you know, again, it's, it's new, it's stiff and uh, we're going to take the clip from back here. All right, and uh, we're just going to kind of put it in here, like so. We're going to do the same with this clip again. All right, put it right, right in. <coughs> and now, you know, again, it is new, so you know, just get an idea. That's kind of what it does, right? So, give me a second. I tuck this out. All right, don't want anything blocking the panel. That's nice, because now that's laid out really well. As you can see there, really nice. Let me go get the power station. We are using the uh, EcoFlow Delta 1300. Uh, they make this in a Delta 1000 and a Delta 1300. And there are new models out now, but we did a refrigerator test with this thing. To see how long we could use solar and this power station to keep our refrigerator powered. So we'll put a link in the description um, so you can check that out. But let's go ahead and bring this to uh, 
the panel. Beautiful, strong sun. But I'll tell you now, it is about two degrees below right now. So if you hear heavy breathing, well, it's not because I'm excited about you. It's because it's cold out. And I'm just working for you. <laughs> so take your connectors. You can't make any mistakes with these. They just kind of go right in. As you can see, they push right in. Make sure they click and they lock in place. You don't want them to be loose. That could be a reason why yours is not working. Same thing here. Now that we got it connected, we take the XT60 connector and we're gonna just go to the side here on the Delta. There's a panel and we just take this, put it in and then we're gonna watch this thing start up immediately as soon as it receives wattage. And I will get you the best view I could get. I'm getting 83, 84. This is a 110 watt panel. So let's just give it a moment. And I'm gonna get a different angle too because I, I don't see what you see until later on. But that should be pretty good. So we are getting 86 watts, 85 watts on a 110 watt panel. That's really not bad. I mean, it's actually pretty good. 86, 85, so we're hanging around 86. It's the highest I'm seeing. And you know, that's this is a great thing, right? Because this has pass-through charging, this power station. And, and what that means is, is I can charge this via solar and I can power other items. Now, if the wattage I'm using is lower than, you know, 80 some odd watts. I mean, this thing could last a long, long time as long as you have sun. So there's our test on the EcoFlow 110 watt panel. All right, well, I hope you found this simple review helpful and informative. Don't forget, in the description, we will leave a link for the 160 watt panel testing. And we'll leave the link for the EcoFlow Delta refrigerator test. That was pretty interesting. I hope you subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.